So now that we've learned how to work with the camera and at work with time, let's talk a little bit about working back and forth between the movie world and the game world. So there's a hotkey, F11, which will switch you back and forth between game and movie world. So basically, hit the F11 key to go into the game, and then when you're in the game, hit the F11 key to go back into the movie world. In the movie world, you can move the mouse around, you can select shots, you can throw time, you can scrub time, you can use the file menu. It works just like a normal tool. When you hit F11, however, the cursor is stuck to the middle of the screen, and you can shoot at it with left click and do all the things that you normally do inside of TF. So since we're using our players as actors, we have to go and get into places before we can actually start recording. So I'm going to go ahead and run the scout all the way across the map. And I thought that this little area here by the truck would be a good little spot for us to work with. And I thought that uh, maybe we could record uh, the scout running down this little dirt path. So I'll go ahead and hit F11. You'll notice that the scout has disappeared. Even though in the game world we were clearly standing right there, he's gone. That's because for something to show up inside of a shot, it has to be recorded, just like a video camera has to capture somebody to put it onto tape. Uh, and so to do that, we're going to go ahead and click the record button and go ahead and click on record. You'll hear three beeps. And at the end of the fourth beep, you can go ahead and start running. That means that the tape is rolling. And so let's go ahead and run up to here and then hit escape when you're done. So you can see here that we're inside the tool mode. And when you hit the space bar, you'll see everything that we just did got recorded into the shot. When we get to the far end over here, we're going to go ahead and stop time with the spacebar again, and go down here and click on your shot, and hit the O key to set the out point for that shot. Notice that the sequence has this long strip of black here. You can go and click and drag it, or you can hit Alt-O, which will set the sequence to be the same as the current playhead. Go ahead and zoom in a little bit, so you can sort of frame it there. Hit the up arrow to go to the beginning of the shot, and hit F11. Now note that we're all the way on the other side of the map because that's where we were at the end of the last take, so we need to go back and get in places. When we get back to the starting point, you'll see the other scout from our previous take is standing there waiting for us. We can't actually interact with him, kill him, or shoot him because he's actually not there in the game world. He's only a movie puppet. He's being driven by animation channels controlled by the timeline instead of being controlled by game logic. To see an example of this, hit F11 and go ahead and hit play, and quickly hit F11 again. You can see that the scout is actually running away, and we're still able to just ignore him, and he's going to go and do what the movie clock tells him to do. So uh, let's go ahead and, and chase him around. Hit F11, click on the record button here, click record, and listen for the beeps. And there we go. So I'm basically recording myself twice. Get to the end of the shot, and you'll hear some beeps again. This is telling you that the shot is ending, and it's going to return you to the movie mode. This is because it only records the duration of the selected shot when you hit record. If you make a mistake, just right click on the shot and go to clean up, manage takes. You'll see that there's the two takes that we just recorded. Select the second one and click on delete. I'm going to go ahead and undo that since I want to keep that take. So hit control Z and the take will come back. So go ahead and hit play and you can see here's our little sequence. So this scene might be a little bit more exciting if we recorded a soldier shooting some rockets. So let's run over here where the scouts were when they ran past this corner. And if we hit 5 on the number pad, it'll switch back and forth to the first person view. Hit period and select the red team and select the soldier. You'll see that the scout died. And when the soldier respawns, he's probably going to respawn inside the red spawn room. So we're going to go ahead and need to get him into places. So instead of running all the way across the map, I'm going to show you a trick where we're going to go ahead and teleport him using the scene camera. So go ahead and hit F11, right click in the primary viewport, and go down to Game, Teleport Player to Camera. You can see the player has teleported right here behind the scout, so we're already in position and everything's ready to roll. So go ahead and get into places, hit F11, click the record button, listen for the beeps, rockets. And there we go. By the way, when you teleport yourself, you can sometimes get accidentally stuck inside walls or the floor. Just go ahead and tap the N key for no clip, and then you can fly through walls and then hit N when you're in midair and you'll drop back down onto the world. So you'll notice that the active camera got set to be unnamed camera 3, which is the soldier camera. So I'm going to go ahead and bring down the menu and change scene camera to be unnamed camera 2, which is the scout. Go ahead and hit play. Looks like we've got a pretty exciting action shot.
So let's go ahead and cut it up into a sequence. And don't forget, hit Control-S to save your work.